Hello YouTube. Uh, this month I'm playing on a, a McAfee Islander. Uh, Mario McAfee made these plastic guitars in the 50s. There's a lot of story I could tell about this, but I think I'll save that mostly for the blog. Suffice to say that Mario McAfee um, was something of a genius, and uh, I admire his uh, his musical skills. I admire his engineering skills. Uh, anyway, he was quite the entrepreneur, quite the uh, quite the uh, the amazing fellow. And this guitar is quite a, a little achievement for a cheapo plastic guitar. They're uh, incredible collector's items, um, and uh, and affordable collector's items. Although I think the um, the G40s, which are uh, a sort of arch top version of this thing, they're going for like 800 bucks on eBay these days. For a plastic guitar that's like 60 years old, that's kind of amazing. Um, but they've got lots of cool features. The the tuners are, are, are really neat. Um, uh, they, there's, there's a whole bunch of really precision gearing inside of here, um, just buried in the plastic that he was able to do uh, at a very reasonable cost. Um, and they sound kind of neat. Um, I'll play just a little snip of um, of some uh, some sort of Jangwesque kind of um, stuff here. We'll get a sense of how it sounds in different ways. It's a thing that I got plenty of So you get the idea, it's a nice sounding little got kind of a jazzy sound I think of it as sort of a, um, a, a it's somewhere between a, a ukulele and a guitar You can get on it, but it's gonna start sounding it, It's gonna overdrive it a little bit um, uh, it's got the, the Sir Trapeze bridge, so it's putting some down pressure on this top. I had a little bit of concern about that because uh, I think many of these things wind up with the, the top caved in, but this one's in good shape. Um, and, uh, and so a little bit, McAfee, uh, for those who are not in the know, which would probably be all of my, my many, many uh, YouTube viewers, uh, Mario uh, made the guitars for... Um, for Django Reinhardt, who's a famous swing musician and uh, just a fabulous, fabulous guitarist. He kind of invented um, swing guitar uh, in some regards. Uh, Charlie Christian would probably arm wrestle him over that. But um, anyway, um, Django had his own distinct style and, uh, and he played uh, a McAfee guitar that was designed for the Selmer Music Company. And those are great guitars, and I have an example of a cheap knockoff of one of those type of guitars that I'll, I'll play another month. Um, but those things project like crazy. This is a, a diminutive cousin of all that. But I thought because of the, the style of music that uh, sort of circulates around this, it was all part of the, uh, the Paris swing scene just before uh, World War II. Uh, kind of between the wars, there was a, a, a beautiful jazz uh, culture Actually, Paris still has a pretty good jazz culture. And so, in honor of all that, um, I'm going to do a little song about Paris and a lovely trip I had there with my wife. And, um, and so, uh, without further ado, I'll see if I can play it. Start out at L'Orangerie I'd love to see the lilies there with you Admiring the Monet's You would agree it makes a lovely rendezvous And then we'll walk through Le Jardins de Tuileries I can't believe I get to have you here with me On a perfect day at Paris for two
We'll stroll along the Seine and find a bridge from which to view Spy a small cafe somewhere near the quay with some room And then we'll share a cup of coffee and croissant for two We'll duck into the Orsay cause it's better than the Louvre On a perfect day in Paris with you Place for lovers to explore. As the sun goes down, we'll look for high ground near soccer cool. Watch the lights go on by the Eiffel Tower underneath the moon. And then I'll take you in my arms as the city and its charms conspire to make this poor boy swoon on a perfect. It's a sweet caress of a big day in Paris with you.